Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Star Ocean Second Journey Part 10. In the previous video, we made the voyage over to the Lacor continent and we're in... Maybe this is Lacor? I don't know where we are. We're in this town and there's an armory contest and Claude wants to enter it, but first things first, we gotta sign up with a weapon shop. Um, I know I said I plan to like grind for money off screen because we have none. Uh, the game literally will not let you leave. It's, uh, holding us hostage right now, so that will not be happening. We will instead continue to be poor and somewhat low level. Our weapon shop has the longest streak in the winners in liqueur history. I don't want to go with you. I want to go with the spunky underdog. Excuse me, are you still accepting contestants? Oh, hey, are you a contestant entrant? Yeah, I am. Well, all the best stuff's been taken, what with our reputation for producing winners and all, but you can still sign up with us and use what's left if you want. It's first-rate stuff, uh, I guarantee. It's not, a. Uh... Well, we'd like to take a look at the equipment and make our own judgment. Ah, shit, you can't do that. All right, well, this is the best stuff I've got at the moment. Um... What am I looking at? This, uh, this means nothing to me? Okay, you would get Far Cutter? Uh, okay. I don't really know, like, I mean, Far- it's 414 is definitely higher than what we have. you also be getting two sweet syrups, a mixed syrup, and a black berry. I'm gonna look around. Sure, if you find another shop you like, feel free to sign up there. We've already got plenty of fighters signed up as it is, and plus you like a little wimp, blondie. Our weapons and armor are the best in liqueur. You won't regret choosing us. The straight jab. Excuse me, I'm uh, looking to sign up with... Sign up for... Wait, I'm looking for a shop to sign up. For some reason, that word, I just kept skipping over it. Uh, with the armory contest. You're a contestant? Oh my god, look at that freaking the, the cat in the foreground, dude. He, he freaking spooked me. Can't you tell? Not really, but you can't judge a guy by his appearance, right? You might be stronger than you look. Sure, come on board. I got some strong armor here, so you're definitely not going to lose that easily. I don't want armor. Well, forgive you for just what you... We'll forgive you for what you just said just now, but you have to show us what you have. I can't talk. Uh, you probably won't be able to find a better set of equipment in any other weapon shop. But we get less attack. We do get maybe better defense. Uh, no, pass. I don't want no... I'm gonna look around some more. Sorry, I'd like to check out the other shops. Are you sure? Well, alright. You're not a shop, are you? Are you a shop? The Savage Slayer? Excuse me, are you accepting Armory Contest entrance here by any chance? Of course, I just love watching fighters battle it out while wearing rare equipment. Rare? Huh? Uh, in that case, can we see for ourselves how rare these items are? Of course you can, sweetie. You can look for as long as you like. Okay, you get less attack. You get, uh, you get... I mean, it's kind of hard to, like, really tell. I'm just kind of looking at the attack and defense stats. That's the only ones I can really remember. Okay, ooh, you get lotion of strength. Okay, I don't know about all that stuff. I'm gonna look around some more. You're a bandy to me, just like that, but it's okay. Hey, okay, lady, you're that's sexual harassment. It's not really, but a little too a little too horny for my taste. Okay. Mr. Cannon. What what you got? The counter punch? Excuse me, are you still accepting contestants? Are you fighting in the contest? Sure, come on board, kid. See, as long as you don't disrespect us. Can we take a look at the equipment you're offering first? Sure thing, take a look and let me know what you decide to do. 
Okay, you give like absolute. You give me nothing, dude. I mean, that's like the shit I'm already already wearing. Two sweet syrups, one mixed syrup, and three blackberries. I, I'm. I said I wanted the spunky underdog. I didn't want actual just garbage. So it seems like this is probably the easiest. Then you, then the shop, then that guy. We'll go with the people who actually own a storefront. Even though that lady was a little, she's a little horned up. Okay. I mean, that seems good. It seems like a good balance. And now I don't know about this consumables. Those seem like I'm not maybe that useful, but let's go. I've decided to go with this shop. Sign me on. Especially because uh, the other two people disrespected us. So that means they don't get our business. Is there anything else I need to do now? All you have to do, sweetie, is visit the reception desk on the day of the contest. They'll give you your equipment along with all the items you'll need for the contest. Until then, you're free to do whatever you please. Quit hearting. Oh, and to think of the manly sweet and breath that'll be flowing on that rare set of equipment. Is there anything more beautiful in this world? Alright, okay, never mind. We changed our mind. We're going with the people who disrespected us. Alrighty, we are we are done now. Can I leave? Sorry, get out of my way. Uh, can I leave the town because I mean, like, I really would on getting a few dollar days. Well, I guess this means I'm officially entered. Or just manually saving. I still cannot believe how much this game like holds you hostage when it comes to saving. Because like, I don't even think the towns have save points. For the combatants, this is a matter of life and death. But for everyone else, it's like a national festival. I don't know if it's a matter of life and death. I don't think people are actually dying. Well, it doesn't bother me at all. If you've got a chance to let loose, there's no reason why you shouldn't take it. Even if it means murdering a few oh. guys, right? Uh... Everyone has a different goal in life, you know? There's no point trying to force them down one way or the other. Oh, why so serious? Come on, it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, that's just because you're not fighting. You're right. Let's paint the town red until the tournament starts. Train your skills, play around, just do whatever you want. I hope you don't mean red with the blood of our enemies. We can stay in Lacour until the day of the tournament, right? Sure. Yeah. Not only is the inn free for tournament contestants, but they'll even wake me up on battle day so I don't sleep through it. Oh, well, that's good. All right. Now let's go have some fun. Okay, are you going to let me leave? No. They're still holding you hostage. <laughs> she is... It's a little obnoxious. Well, okay, never mind. They they do let you leave. All right. My complaint is cut short. So here's what we're going to do. I think we will do, like, just a little bit. Like, maybe just to get, like, a couple level. Ma mainly money is really what we need. I don't really care about levels that much, but I do want to get, get some spending cash so we can buy more consumables. Be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, we got... Okay, we only got like a couple thousand gold. There's not really that. It's not really a good gold spot after all. Welcome but, uh, to the Lacour Hotel. How actually, before we uh, we should go check the items shop. Like I wanted to before we progress to the thingy. Even though I, I'm guessing it probably restricts your item usage, considering it was like, oh, these are the items you get for the tournament. So. Ah uh, yes, I see your armory contest badge. Could I have your name, please? No. Claude C. Kenny. Incorrect. That name is not in our database. Claude C. Kenny. Indeed, your name's on the list. I wish you the best of luck in the tournament. However, I must warn you that participants are not allowed to leave the city until after the armory contest is over. Uh, what if the city's on fire? Do you have anything left to take care of? Uh, give, give me, give me a sec. Very good. In that case. Please return once you are fully prepared for the yes, tournament. Yes, I, I am aware. Also, I did, you know, I was actually looking in the options, and I think that we want that on just for, like, not important dialogue. That seems good. 
Because not being able to, like, skip the dialogue is a little annoying. I mean, for the most part, I mean, obviously any story stuff, I'm never going to skip the dialogue, but for kind of ambient dialogue like that, it's a little nice to be able to actually skip stuff, so I do want to save the game. Yes, I know. See? I don't need Ashton to... Ah, gah, gah. I was trying to enter the menu, and as I keep saying in, like, literally every video, every game has a different button... You press to open the menu. Summer start, summer triangle. This game is triangle. Others are square. It's uh, it's hard to keep track of. And I really should. And plus, it does pop up with a big square, and I'm like, ooh, big square. I wonder what happens if I were to push that button. And then the thing that it says happens happens. Okay. So we can't actually buy weapons from you guys, which is fine. I mean, you should feel bad, but is there like an item shop? Like a, like a shop that sells items. Like a, like a shop of sundries? You know? No? Okay. I didn't, I didn't really, uh, I didn't want to go, I didn't want that anyway. Fine, we'll just uh, sleep up. That's the only medication I need. A good ah. night's sleep. Do you have anything left to take care of? I didn't save. Did I save? Whatever. Just freaking send it. Very good. I've assigned you to the gate suite. Please enjoy your stay. It's our worst uh, bed in the entire uh, facility. Only two beds, eh? Now we just have to wait for the big day. Ashton's definitely sleeping on the floor too. with those freaking dragons of his. Guys latched onto my back. <sighs> I mean, you'd have a better chance of winning. Grand, that might be an unfair advantage. Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That might count as a performance enhancing drug. Having two dragons strapped to your shoulders. I wonder if we'll see Diaz there. We haven't seen him in any of the towns we've been to. It's time for Claude to give him the ass kicking he deserves. Um she is pacing. She is, she is still pacing. It feels like time slows down to a crawl whenever you're waiting for something big to happen. What are you so nervous about, Reyna? It's not like you're the one fighting. You're right. I suppose I am acting a little strange, aren't I? Yeah, Lil. Reyna? I make you all nervous when I'm around, don't I, Claude? I'm gonna go out and walk around for a bit then. Uh, is she mad because she learned that we're an alien? I mean, she's an alien. Have to be so worried about me. But she can't judge. Not that I have any business intruding, but I don't think that's the whole reason she's like this. She just doesn't want to see Diaz get his butt beat. What? She's probably thinking about what to do if she runs into Diaz, don't you think? I wonder. Hopefully not turn to the dark side. I don't know exactly how Reyna feels about this Diaz character. Uh, sir, the, the line? Okay, no. But at the very least, she obviously thinks enough of him that she can hardly even sit still right now. I think I may have accidentally skipped it. Whatever. I need to focus on something else right now. Hmm. What? Oh, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> you weren't in perfect sync. If you want to say something, just spit it out already. Then the dragon barfs on him. you mind? Ugh. Reyna came back a while later, looking all depressed and dejected. I do, she seemed lost in her own little world. I do love how Claude's began. inner thoughts are recorded in, like, a garage. They're so echoey. I mean, I get that it's supposed to, you know, be a clue to let you know that he's not saying that stuff out loud. He's thinking it. But, uh... The supreme reverb is slightly funny to me.
Oh, dude, the quintuplets the are here. Finally dawned on the Actually, it's the quintuplets. The town was alive with excitement. Every street and thoroughfare packed with feverish crowds of people. Maybe it's octuplets, because there's actually three One more of another, them. another, the tournament contestants filed into Lacour Castle. It wouldn't be long before I'd be joining them. Well, I'm all set. I'll be heading off for Lacour Castle soon. Are you nervous, Claude? Are you really ready for this? Yes. I'll be fine. I feel a lot better today. Then you shouldn't have any problems. Don't worry. I really feel like I've got a chance to win today. Yeah. Now, I am in control of you, so maybe temper those expectations. Perhaps you might want to head to Lacour Castle before it's too late. Well, you're not the boss of me. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, wait, do we actually get that equipment put on us? No, I guess they maybe give it to us when we start. Are you a contestant? Maybe I should ask for your autograph. Uh, we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to pay us in advance because we will be winning. So it is a championship autograph. Man, you know what kind of stuff I had to go through to, just to get these tickets? Uh, no. And don't tell me either. I'm buying tickets. If you got any tickets you're not using, sell them to me. I'm a ticket hoarder. Excuse me, could you take a picture of us? No. Do you want to take a picture here? I can't believe it's about to start. I hope there'll be somebody worth rooting for. Uh, yeah. This uh, uh. Okay, I guess we just go forward. How? Please follow the hallway on your left. All right. You are late for your match. You have been automatically DQ'd. Come again next year. Um, little, little loss. You better hurry, you'll miss registration. Oh no, run. It's me. Excuse me, I'm participating in the tournament. Your name? Claude C. Kenny. Yeah. Kenny, ah uh, yes. First of all, please give me all of your weapons and items. We'll be keeping them here for you. Uh, pass. Granted, the equipment we're getting is better, so... All right. Now I'll give you the equipment sent to us by your sponsoring weapon shop. Uh, the you thing they actually advertised uh, was a fake. Begins. Instead, you're so going to get a wooden stick. Agent for details. For... I didn't mean to do that. I do kind of wish the dialogue wouldn't auto-advance. It's kind of hard to, like, commentate over because they just keep talking. There's no natural pauses. Oh, there's Diaz. Excuse me. Has my weapon arrived yet? You're DS Flack, right? Is he really? I'm sorry. Is we he really just going to ignore us? From your weapon shop. Then I'll fight barehanded. How much time do I have? Well, it's weird. Like, sometimes the dialogue auto advances, sometimes it doesn't. Well, given the circumstances, we'll extend the deadline to just before the start of your first match. Would you perhaps be able to visit your weapon shop and see what the situation is? I don't need you to remind me. Diaz! Reyna, what do you want? Dude, quit being so frickin' evil. Is Gamgee's weapon here yet? Gamgee? What's it to you? Everything! I'm the one who introduced you to him. I'm guessing they talked last night. Introduced him? What's all this about, Reyna? Well, uh, yeah, I'm still on Team Diaz. I gave him a sweet weapon so he could beat your ass. It's nothing. She was just in the right place at the right time. Nothing to get jealous over, Claude. Um... Oh, we're gonna enjoy whacking you, dude. Stop thinking about it. It's my problem, not yours. I'm, I'm uh, too cool for school. For I gotta go uh, brood over in the corner for a little bit. Reyna? 
Diaz can't fight in the tournament without a weapon. Yeah, he can. You don't want to lose your chance to fight him, do you? He could just be like, the only what weapon I need are these fists of mine. Much to you. Oh my Claude, god, Claude. Like that. I mean, it, in Claude's defense, it does kind of seem like it's like that. Well, you're the one picking out weapons for Diaz. Whose side are you on here anyway? Well, she doesn't have to pick a side. It's like they're both kind of being idiots. Like Claude's being oh, a bit of a why are you saying this? a bit of a baby, and Rena Reina is obviously like I don't know. Why do you think Reina? She's not being very sensitive to Claude's feelings, I guess you could say. Why did you have to be so accusatory, Claude? That was rather childish of you. She's right. What did I do? I think you hurt Raina's feelings quite a bit, Claude. Well, what are you going to do if she doesn't accept your apology? You don't have to raggle me like this. Sheesh. You were the one ragging on Raina, Claude. I'll just have to remember not to hit the A button until I'm 100% sure the text isn't going to auto advance on its own. Ouch. It's just like a little minor annoyance. All right. Um, couldn't leave when it's about okay, so I guess we're not going after Reyna. But registered, go to the waiting room. Got it. Hello. My weapon shop hired me to enter this contest. That means I'll get twice as much money when I win. You look important. These guys here all have their own reasons for entering me. I just like fighting. Again, stronger guys. Uh, what made you decide to enter? The glory. You're one of the contestants. I hope I don't get beaten up too badly. I can't afford to lose this contest. I've got five kids to feed. Um, maybe you should have thought about having five kids before you were in the situation where it's like the only way I'm going to be able to feed my family is if I risk my life in death matches. The first match of the first round is about to begin. Please come up to me when your name is called. Aman Rao, fighting for the counterpunch. That's not us. Sweet, I'm first. Let's do this. Um, you don't look Claude too comfortable C. there. Kenny, hey, that's us. The Savage Slayer. I mean, our shop is the Thank only you. one that has an actual building, so... I think we win. My, you're in the first match. Good luck, Claude. Thanks. I'll try my best. Hmm, so the question now is... I'll be handing you the items you're allowed to use during battle. Remember, these are going to be the only items you'll have for use during the entire tournament. Okay. We want to try and body this dude first things first. Okay, we got our bunch of items that I don't even know what they do. Two participants enter the arena. The one who falls first is the loser. And gets his head chopped off. That being petrified or paralyzed will also count as a loss. Wait, what? This is your last chance to check on your equipment, folks. Do you have everything you need? Okay. Well, I, what do these items do? Okay. That's a du dual heal. It blocks the use of special arts and spells, but gives you extra attack. Creates an effect that can either be heavenly or... So that's like a... If we're about to lose, we pop the Violet Pill and hope it gives us something good. And then we got a full heal. So it seems like we get better consumables, but slightly worse weapons than the other top tier shops. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go. Are you ready for the arena? We just got to get in there and start whacking and smacking. After a seemingly endless wait, the day we've all been waiting for is finally here. Welcome to the Lacour Armory Contest. 
We've got one of the best lineups in tournament history this year, and I can hardly wait to see what kind of action we'll see on the arena floor. Make sure you keep your eyes on the field, folks. You won't want to miss a second. All right. Now, Claude did learn a heal off screen, and I equipped it. So uh, that might be useful. I think when we got to level 20, we learned some sort of heal. Now, whether it's effective or not, do not yet know, but in theory, it seemed good. Okay. I don't remember if it's on left or right. This. We can handle it. First things first, you hit him with a little, little ya ya ye. Hit him with a little, little, uh, little ya ya ye. Okay, you've been destroyed. Get out of my face. That was easier than I thought. You tell me that dude gets 500 XP? Monsters outside don't even get that much. And there's the winner. Claude C. Kenny has won the first match of the first round. Let's give him a big round of applause because I accidentally hit the advance button. I don't know, maybe I should turn message skipping back off. I was watching out there. I wonder where she is even. It's kind of like you lose some, you lose some. Because if you keep message skipping off, then some of the more pointless dialogue you can never skip. So like any of the ambient like NPC dialogue or, or shops and inns, you can never skip it. You have to wait for it to fully play out. But if you have message skipping on, then a lot of times you end up skipping the voice lines. Don't disturb me. I'm doing some self-image training. I don't want to even think about what you're visualizing over there, buddy. Did we get to watch Diaz? You were in that first match, weren't you? You looked pretty good out there. Damn right. Did you see the way he jumped 35 feet in an instant? It's hard not to get excited about the armory contest. What's up, gang? That, yep, that's us. <laughs> I won. Darn tootin'. That was awesome. We were all just totally mesmerized. Good work. Me mes mes mem memorized? What did you say, dude? Uh, was Raina there? Oh my god, Claude, you're being such a child. Raina? I mean, in a way, it's kind of endearing, though. While we were watching, at least. Oh. We have a winner! Emma Bregovich has won the seventh match of round one! Show him some love, people! That sounds more like booze. Wait a minute. Should oh, there she is. Up soon? Is he ready to go? I don't care anymore. Oh my god. Claude. <laughs> he's such a little emo teenager. I mean, technically he is a teenager, so. Reina. Congratulations. I heard from one of the soldiers. You made it past the first round. Of course we did. Reina. I really wanted to watch, but I didn't realize you were the very first match. I would have stayed to watch if I'd known. It's okay. Besides, you were angry at me. Well, let's just make 100% sure I can hit the A button. I'm probably gonna turn it off after this section. Oh, Diaz is up next. So? Dude, he's just fighting like a regular dude. We had to fight like a gold guy. That's how you know our opponent was definitely stronger. Everyone knows flashiness equals power. Yeah, his name is just Thomas. I mean, how many powerful Thomases are there out there? Just need a minute My man's really got 25,000 or 2,500 HP, eh? Okay, so he does about like double our damage. Come on, get him. Get him, Spear Boy. My man just has the freaking auto blocker turned on. What do you mean, we'll waste the time? 
Um, I, uh, grinded for 45 hours, therefore I am stronger than you. between you two anyway would you mind sharing it with us absolutely not dude claude his his ego is going to be destroyed you're gonna shatter his psyche man it was nothing serious some guy stole ds's weapon to keep him from entering the tournament that's all yeah claude did you do that i'll let you off the hook for now but you better believe we'll be wanting to hear more from you later that's fine with you right claude you're psychologically tormenting claude i love it <laughs> uh, what's this about? Pardon me, Mr. Kenny. Round two is about to get started, so could you return to the waiting room? Okay. Will do. Oh, sure. Good luck. Try not to lose. Thanks for the encouragement, Celine. Claude, do your best, okay? I'll be watching. And if you're not, Claude will be mentally devastated and go into a mental breakdown, and it'll be all your fault. Got it. All righty. We're about to begin the second round, people. Good luck to all of you. Are you set to go? Absolutely. Best of luck to you. It's not like I can save the game or anything anyway. I didn't see any save points. Uh, sir, you're not a real person. I don't think you signed a contract with the, with an armor shop. This tournament's starting to heat up, folks. We've got the first match of the second round for you, starting right now. Dora Dan is taking on Claude C. Kenny in this match. That dude is, that's obviously just a monster. Claude's one of our younger competitors. How long can he hold out? Does he have what it takes to win it all? Let's find out. This man is about to get yaya yida, that's all I know. We can handle this. See, we can handle it. Here's what you do. Hoo-ya! <laughs> that attack is just so hilarious. One for us. Think Diaz can do that? Absolutely not. I mean, maybe he can. I don't know. And there you have it. Claude C. Kenny has won the first match of round two. The semifinals are coming up next. Come on. I want to hear some noise from you guys. Yeah. I mean, there's only like 12 people in the crowd. Man, Claude's really got it, doesn't he? I mean, the semifinals. That's like halfway to the finals. Wow, my heartbeat's going crazy here. Who knew Claude had such big hops? The semifinals are about to get underway. Good luck, people. Are you set to go? Absolutely, why not? Send it. Best of luck to you. Sir, once again, you're not a you're not a real contestant. You think he negotiated with the shop? Be like, oh, I would need a sword. Pretty sure they would have just screamed and been like, why the hell is a monster in the town? Grizzled? I mean, that's one word to describe him. I mean, you know the, you know the, what we're gonna do. We can handle this. He's like, rawr, I'm a, first things first, we heal up, and then we hit him with a little ya ya yeet, a little double ya ya yeet. Okay. He did just do a lot of damage. Okay. He's, he's done, he's done a real, real number on us, and I don't remember how that go into the menu. I can't lose yet. Our heal did nothing? 
That's cool. I didn't actually want to heal anyway. We have our first finalist. Moses Durahan has won the first semi-final match. We're only a hair's breadth away from the final match. It's only going to get hotter, folks. I kind of, kind of thought the heal would be instant. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll end the video, and at the next video, we'll just start right back at this fight. Thankfully, uh, the game has no saves available, so we only have to redo all this. That's cool. Uh, see you on the next video. I'm ExtraCheese87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.